on a previous episode of Shadow Realm. Ariel, what are you doing? It's a red light! It is time to pull the plug, Arya. Yesterday I wondered how we would survive without her. But the truth is, we're already surviving! I couldn't sleep that night. I lay in my bed, listening to the waves of the Pacific Ocean beat against the northern shores of my home. Then, all of a sudden, my bed began to quiver, which turned into a shake and then a shudder. Then my bed began to tremble. When you live in San Francisco, earthquakes are an ordinary part of life. But this didn't feel like any ordinary earthquake. The floor underneath me heaved and tipped. The room tilted, thrusting all the furniture onto one side. I was flung to one corner of the room. Ah! The floorboards came apart at the seams, forming a large crack right down the middle. The bookcase toppled over, scattering books everywhere. One by one, they slid along the tilted floor and slipped into the fall. Then my desk, my rocking chair, my skateboard, tennis racket, chest of drawers, clothes, everything disappeared down the deep chasm in the center of my room. And then I began to slide towards it. I reached out to grab something, anything, but there was nothing to anchor me. One book somehow made its way to me. I clutched it to my chest and tried to scream, but no sound emerged. It was as if my voice was trapped inside my chest. A strong, magnetic force pulled me into a black, unfamiliar abyss. I found myself floating towards a rainbow-colored light in the distance. Where was I? This couldn't be the depths of San Francisco Bay. The Pacific Ocean would have been freezing. This was a warm, almost tropical sensation. The rainbow-colored light swirled into a kaleidoscope of brilliantly colored patterns before evening out into a path that beckoned me to swim towards its crimson, orange, and royal blue extravaganza. The colors swirled around and morphed into vivid yet familiar images. The mural on the schoolyard wall. The mural outside Rainbow Grocery Store. Then, the patterns darkened into gliding silhouettes of banyan trees with thick, long roots that grew down from their branches. Suddenly, I landed on a grassy hillock in the thick of the forest land abundant with trees and wild grass and magnificent snow-capped mountains in the distance. It was as if I had landed in a painting, into the graffiti art under the walls of the Rainbow Grocery Store. Then, I felt a beam of sunlight shining down upon me like a blessing from God. Only then I became conscious of a heavy object in my hands, Ma's old copy of the Ramayan. Thank you for listening to Shadow Realm. If you enjoyed today's episode, share it with someone who'd love to journey through the Aria Chronicles. Visit the ariachronicles.com for more information. Be sure to rate and review us wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Coming up on Shadow Realm. Have you brought it with you? Are you talking to me? Do you see anybody else here? You need to save yourself. Stay tuned for more.